So my work, uh, which is called Life Watching Rage, um, actually came out of body of work where I was um, really focusing on collections uh, as institutional frameworks, um, looking behind the scenes. Um, and I focused mainly actually on the Crothers Collection of Women's Art as my departure point for this body of work. Through engaging with that collection, I was more interested in um, the glitches and kind of the things that we don't necessarily see um, that inform the narrative of the works, the way they talk to each other. I bothered Robert Cook here at Agua um, to kind of let me into the stockroom and take me for a little tour. And that was a really a wonderful process because I got to see, um, I guess, the practicality of keeping works, um, incidental relationships that they might form as well. And he was kind of just pulling these beautiful big stockroom racks out with different works placed together because of their size as opposed to any other kind of uh, curatorial brief. Uh, and in that process, I think he said some throwaway comment, we were just pulling them out, that it's a bit like watching Rage, it's a bit like wanting to see the next thing and kind of staying engaged with um, that process. It's, I guess, almost like a flow state or, I don't know, it's this curiosity. And so I really aligned the materiality of the work um, in the show, like watching Rage, uh, to that kind of movement and that flexibility and malleability of storytelling. The drawings themselves were made from this highly malleable, really common material that I really aligned with the malleable um, and permeable aspect of collections and stories. And that material is um, PowerTac, which is actually a derivative of BlueTac, so it's kind of its cheaper cousin, I suppose. Um, and yeah, I just kind of became obsessed with moving it around and that material itself um, is curious because it could stay up on a wall for 30 years or forever, uh, or it could fall down in five minutes. So that volatility of the material um, is very important to that body of work. Uh, and the idea that they're in these frames, which again kind of speaks of the institution or the archive, um, you know, those little bits of power tack may indeed fall one day and gather at the bottom of the frame, but the work kind of continues on and then becomes informed by the traces that are left behind. And then, you know, again, thinking about this collection show, which Robert's put together, uh, you know, it's, it brings to the surface some of those relationships. And I think, you know, it's quite interesting seeing the work there, situated next to these other artists that are friends and peers of mine. Um, and, you know, I understand their practices, but just seeing those kind of aesthetic relationships, those material relationships, um, is really interesting and again that sort of information for me at least for my practice gets me thinking for the next show gets me thinking about the next kind of idea or material relationship I want to explore